I need the bus because I have many operations and I can't walk properly. I use a bus every day, every day, single, every single day. I've been to the pharmacy, shopping, the doctor, the hospital, the, everything in me. It's easy for me, but without the bus, I can't move. This bus line is very important. First of all, it's been here for 58 years, and people are usual to take this bus. Plus, in this area, more than 60%, I believe, the old elderly people, they go to Sydney Road to do their shopping daily. Maybe some of them, they come here three or four times a day because the, the carrying bag, they're too heavy for them and they're coming up and down and up and down, and I have to help them. I got a, uh, a mail a couple of months ago to say that uh, at the 30th of September, the uh, Hope Street bus line will cease uh, operations. There's Victoria Street and there's the Albion Street, which is 400 metres away. A lot of them have indicated to me that they just can't walk 400 metres. I can breathe, my legs is very sore, my back, weak, weak back, weak the legs. I can breathe, I can breathe. It has to be remembered that this is the Hope Street bus service. And if that service was not provided, the cost of old people moving or being housebound, needing in-home care, would be astronomical. I live in Pontrick, I was born here, I'm still live in the house I was born in. This bus is a, sort of my lifeline at the moment. If the bus stops, I'll, I'll have to move out of my house, which is a bit of a blow after 90 odd years. This bus passes by in close proximity to three aged care facilities. In Duggan Street at the far end is Manor Court Aged Care. Uh, at Melville Road is St Joseph's Place, which is independent living units for elderly. And just over the railway line on the way to Sydney Road is Hope Street Aged Care. Well, I catch the 509 bus along Hope Street because I have a sister with dementia and she's in an aged care facility in Luxway, which is just at the end of Hope Street. And without that, I have a bad leg and I can't get there to visit her as often as I'd like without the bus. There is going to be development in the area and that's being proven now. We're gonna have more high rise apartments so with an ageing population, we do need these extra little modes of transport in the area. I know them by name. I stop everywhere. I, whatever I saw a, a person raise a, a hand so, or tell me to stop, and I stop and I pick them up. Without the bus, I am in a jail. This disaster for me. Because the class of the bus died. Finish. They'll be stuck at their home and they won't come out and then someone else will have to do their shopping for them. But they like to do it themselves and get out and meet friends. If you don't have this bus, the people that I talk to and he talked to me. We, we could go for days without talking to anybody. It's an odd thing as you get older. You, you learn about loneliness. Thanks, Jim. There's very little helping of people in this world, and this bus actually helps people.
Thank you.